Do you want to know one of my favorite stories Simon has ever told? Was he was talking about being in an apartment or something in the darkness and he went to go turn on the light and it was dark in the in the apartment and he goes to turn on the light and he felt someone else's hand grab his hand and suddenly somebody grasps my hand in the darkness dun, dun, dun. Their hand, someone puts their hand tightly around my fingers and they're gripping on really hard and I'm struggling to get my hand away, but I can't. They've got it gripped really tight, and I'm panicking. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just too scared to to say a word. I don't know who this is. Who's got me gripped in this? It's just so weird and scary. <laughs> and I managed to wrestle my hand away. Right. And right. I'm like I'm wildly right. looking around and not really reacting. I'm I'm sweating and I'm clammy. I don't know what the fuck's going on, and um, I managed to find where the light switch is, and I flick it on, and I see outside next to the door frame a hole in the wall with wires coming out of it. That was what had gripped my hand. I put my hand into this hole, touching the bare wires that electrocuted me. But it just turns out that there was a short in the light switch, and he was getting electrocuted. That's one of my favorite Simon stories. Another one of my favorite Simon moments is when him and Lewis took these quizzes on the Yog Pod, and one of them was which dragon are you, and another one was whether or not you could date this woman. And the question the woman says, I could have died. One of the questions was, what would you think if you saw me walking down the street? And Simon said, I would think that I was glad that I hadn't had a large breakfast. <laughs> Those are two of my favorites. I could have died. I'm an OG. The light switch one. <laughs> Wasn't there one too about Lewis was in the shower and the delivery person came? Or something? So I was in the bathroom having a nice shower. Okay. And I was just like minding my own business. I was thinking about various things, you know, what I'm going to do today. And I wasn't really paying attention. I was just sort of, you know, right. going through the normal routine. And suddenly the light went off. <gasps> and I was like, whoa, whoa. Because it's it threw the bathroom into pitch darkness because there's no window in my bathroom. Oh, God. And so I couldn't see anything so i was actually in the sort of the bath the shower bath thing yeah. so i was like slipping and sl like oh. struggling to get out of the bath i was like all scared i was like i was like hello and this man's voice from right outside the door came hello no fucking way from in my hallway no and i was like hello and he was like I'm, I'm here to do some maintenance. There's some mould in the bathroom. And at that, he opened the bathroom door slightly. And he went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, my goodness. And the OG, one of my favorite series on YouTube is still Sips Playing Towns. Is one of the classics. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sipsville. I will go back and watch Towns at least once a year. At least once a year. Sips on his old toaster mic. So fucking good. A proper pumpkin. It's good, isn't it? Sips Skyrim, also fucking good. Okay, Uthgird, follow me. Let's, uh, let's try to be careful, though. We got the Staff of Magnus now. We don't want any funny business we don't want anyone to just like sort of all of a sudden turn up and be like ho 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 travelers thanks for getting the staff of magnus for me i'll be taking that and then we have to like chase them to the end of the earth and and get the staff back we just want to oh shit ho 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 travelers thanks for getting the staff of magnus for me i'll be taking that <laughs> <laughs> See? Who's this? Anaconda, is that you? 
What? What's the meaning so, of this? You made it out of there. Oh, it's Estormo. Ancana was right. You are dangerous. Who are you? I'm afraid I'll have to take that stuff from you now. Oh fuck! I called it. Oh, ho, ho, traveler! What a fucking beautiful moment that was. Yes, the loud horn. When, okay, when, um, when Sips played Skyrim and he had that part, spoilers if you haven't watched Skyrim, he, <laughs> which, what are you doing if you haven't? He had that part where it looked like Uthgur died. I was so fucking heartbroken. I was so upset. Uh, Uthgur? Uh, us, us good? Oh no! What have I done, Uthgard? How could it be? Uh, I, I didn't mean to kill you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uthgard, open your eyes. Uthgard, no. I only knew you for such a short time. You were hideously ugly, and looked like a man. Oftentimes I mistook you for a man. And I'm sorry about that, Uthgard. If you were to come back to life right now, I would tell you... You do not look like a man, Uthgard. Oh, why has this happened? <laughs> Who will carry all my books for me now? <laughs> Oh, oh, there you are. Whoops. I thought you were dead for a minute. And then it turned out she wasn't dead? And I fucking was rolling. Oh my god, I was laughing. That was so fucking good. And he was like, oh, oh, Gerd. And then she was like, I'm here, bitch. Uthgard's death. Yes, and she was right there. The editing was brilliant on that one. Um, also, I was, uh... The first Yogg's cast videos that I watched were the Cataclysm how-tos. And so when Shadow of Israfel, may it rest in peace, came out, I like watched it episode by episode. And I didn't know anything about Minecraft. Minecraft. I didn't know anything about Minecraft. So I just thought that Israfel was actually like an NPC. And I thought that Daisy and Night Peculiar and everyone were NPCs, and I was like, wow, this game is fucking crazy. This game is weird. Don't, we don't say that name. I thought they were- I thought they were NPCs, and I was like, wow, this game is so crazy. Shadow of Redacted. Um, I thought- oh shit, I've carved a piece away that I maybe shouldn't have. I thought they were real NPCs. I thought everyone in that game was a real NPC, and then they would like- Which I'm like, am I fucking dumb? <laughs> am I stupid? <laughs> that I thought they were real? Totally Flapjacks, thank you for following. Uh, Simon played Forest of Doom, the fighting fantasy book. See, I thought they were real, and I was like, oh my god. The best- uh, the best- and you're not gonna change my mind. The best moment of- Shadow of Israfel is when Simon fucking sets fire to the floor of the Yogg cave. That was fucking good. That was my favorite part. And then <laughs> Lewis was just panicking. So good. Um, How do we stop this? How do we stop this? I thought uh, bucket. Uh, uh, the bucket has um, it's filling up the room with water. <laughs> Egg on, egg on, egg on, Would you rather have the room filled with fire <laughs> or with water? How are we. Simon, this is getting quickly out of control. There's not enough water. I'm panicking. Look, first of all, Can don't we contain panic, the fire. Can we. Right? Go! I'm on fire. Also known as central heating. Oh my goodness. I remember watching the outtakes and being like, how much of this was fake? Yeah! But it was so well done. Of course. I shed a real tear 
when Night Peculiar died. I did. And, um, with Fumblemore, and he was like, It's just a fucking bucket full of mud and feathers! <laughs> Go give it to Old Peculiar and cure him. And he's like, this is just a bucket of mud. How do we know that it that is actually a potion and not just... <laughs> Drink this, it will cure you. Um, this is just a bucket. And then the fucking creeper that was one of the neighbors. He is a respectable member of this community. And <laughs> they killed him. God. If you're gonna say anything, the writing of that, or like the the um, improv of all of that, is fucking brilliant, to be honest. Which is one of the things that I've always admired is like being that funny, like just off the cuff. Good night, Tilleron. They sang about digging a hole. That's a good one too. At least do something funny and sort of light-hearted, doesn't it? Um, upbeat. I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy <laughs> there are so many things that live rent free in my brain, and majority of them <laughs> are Trucking Tuesday and Minecraft videos. Like. Another one of my favorites is that really shitty uh, Christmas map that they played that was like poorly translated. And then one of the like first things they had to do was drive a boat through a bunch of rocks and you can just literally go around it. But once upon a tragical thing to happen to someone to do it, namely nodded to see kind of man was taken to jail. Yes, the one when the wheels drop down from the sky is one of my favorites. Am I gonna carve both pumpkins? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna give the other one to my neighbor. Live rent free in my brain. That was the- it's the garbage truck that has the wheels come down from the sky. And Lewis goes, These fucking games! <laughs> these fucking games! It's always something with these fucking games. And you never know! And you never know what it's gonna be! And then he cries, and then Simon hugs him. These fucking games! Always! There's always something! <laughs> Surprise! That one. Oh my god! You're actually crying. You never know what it's gonna be. Oh god! There's always something. This fucking laugh. Yes. <laughs> and you never know what it's gonna fucking be. Perfect. Can we just take a moment? Some of my favorite. YouTube things are the Lewis laughing compilation and the Sips laughing compilation, and majority of those are Simon making his friends laugh. If you'll notice. These fucking games! I miss Lewis, Lewis rage? You mean you don't get that once a week at least? There's always Lewis rage to be found, is there not? Is there not? These fucking games! <laughs> and you never know! Oh, another thing. Hello? Hello? The Queen or JK Rowling? Mommy? And she says, FUCK OFF! All of this probably sounds like absolute garbage to people that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Which is probably a decent amount of people. The Lewis water pump laugh. Armchair admirals, right? Scoop it up! 
with your fucking hands and shove it, shove it right up your ass. Okay, fuck it. Okay. Scoop it up with your fucking hands and just bring it back. Bring me back a few handfuls of oil. I'll put it up my ass and then we'll go into space. I don't fucking know. What are we doing? Why is the belt below his ass? Also a good one. I think the belt I've put in entirely the wrong place. But I have to sort of put it above his... Shut up! Shut up! Sips! Shut up! Fuck you! Why is the belt below Fuck his ass? Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus Christ! Oh, God, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so fucking good. Shipping and receiving. Also good. Um. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> oh my what god. What the fuck is this? Um. Oh, I'm safe in my bedroom. The oh shit, the re shipping and receiving. <laughs> Brian Blessed's wife, yes. Well, I, I guess you're married. You must be married. Um, what's your wife like? Uh, Is that <laughs> you really want to ask. What's he going to say to that? What's your <laughs> wife like? <laughs> She's horrible! <laughs> when he, or when uh, Warwick Davis is getting flushed down the drain. Like, let's have just a reminiscing stream. Where we just take a moment to appreciate 10 quality years of content. 10 years of quality content, even. 10 years of laughs. 10 years of really great friends. 10 years of charity. All of that. Can we just take a moment? To appreciate the skin that we have on our balls. Simon, I, I fucking swear you are not allowed to die before I do. So you have to hold on. So don't do anything unhealthy. Because if you die before I do, I'm gonna fucking Romeo and Juliet that shit.